All right, thanks so much for joining. So today I'm going to show you how you can create these customized paper bags using nothing but Word and a browser, and obviously you need a printer. Um, and they actually print out really nice. Uh, and again, showing you how you can create these customized paper bags. And again, I did use a unicorn, that's just because I had it and I was creating these and using this for another image, but you can literally put anything you want on there. Um, I actually came up with this idea from one of the chat logs on my YouTube channel. I do have a YouTube channel, Printing with Microsoft Word. If you um, like any of these videos, please watch them. There's a number of things, everything from customized thank you cards to um, candy bag toppers to bunting banners. Uh, more importantly though, I do have a um, video on here, searching fonts, installing fonts, and using symbols. If you do not know how to download and install new fonts, please watch this video. I am using a customized font. Alright, so how do we create this um, image for this really cute paper bag? Well, we start with Microsoft Word, and this is actually what I started with. Um, and what I'm going to go ahead and do is go to File, New, Blank Document. Okay. And what we want to do here is we first want to go ahead and get the unicorn. So I'm going to go to Google, and if you like to use Bing or Yahoo, feel free. And I'm just going to type in unicorn silhouette. Printing on a brown paper bag, um, I found using black and white is much better than color because it is a brown paper bag. If you are using a white paper bag, feel free to use any and all colors that you want. And here's the image I used. The reason why I like to um, use the PNG is if you see this gray and white background here, that means the only thing you're going to get is this image. You're not going to get kind of the white background you have here. You see this writing here and here and you have this white background. Um, that white background will actually, um, could potentially show up um, as well as kind of be disruptive to any printables you do. So I always like working with the PNGs and I always look for this gray and white background. So we're just going to save this picture as unicorn. Um, and then the other thing we're going to want to get is this banner, okay? So we're going to go over here and we're going to type in oopsies, Google once again. And let's go ahead and do banner clip art. And once again, let's click on images. And I could have typed in .png, um, but I already know that these are going to be the PNGs because I've looked at them and I found them before. And these are the ones I use. So let's go ahead and right click and do a save picture as, and we can just call this banner. Okay. So now we have our two images saved. Um, what we're going to next do is we're going to do insert picture and we're going to go ahead and click on our, oopsies, let's go to video and let's click on our paper bag. Here we go. And now let's add our unicorn. And the first thing we're going to want to do is make this again much smaller. And the next thing we're going to want to do is change layout options to in front of text. Because right now if you try to move this around you can't. So that's why we need to change this layout option to in front of text. Right? Now we can very easily move this around. And what you want to do is you want to move this around till you see this green line. Okay, again, you're going to want to be sure that you wait and see this green line because you know this is going to be centered in the middle of the page. And we're going to want to actually move this down because we don't want this right at the top of the paper bag. We want that more sort of in the middle to the top. Okay. Um, all right. Um, sometimes people have asked, how do you get that green line? While you have picture tools open and the format open, you can click on a line and you want to use alignment guides. If you don't see that green line, that's where you can see it. It's found in Microsoft 2013. Okay. So next thing we want to do is we want to go through and want to insert a picture and we want to insert our banner. And once again, we want to click layout options and go in front of text. Next thing we want to do is we want to make this much smaller. So we want to click on this crop up here. Again, that format is selected. We want to click on crop and we want to move this and just pull this banner. Okay. Then we obviously want to make this smaller. This is just a little smidge bigger here. And then we want to change the color and we want to make this grayscale. Okay. You can again make this much grayer. It's kind of up to you on how you want. I happen to like this grayscale. Okay. Next thing I did, if you notice, is I have sort of the shadow and I think it just adds a little bit of dimension, but I also have sort of the tail coming in front of this banner. 
if you wanted to do those two things, you can click on the unicorn and you can click on picture effects and then you can click on glow. And then when you click on glow, you can just add a little bit right here for the, the tiniest glow variation. And I think it just adds a little something. Next thing, if you wanted to get the tail out of the way, what you can do is right click, you can do a copy and then click outside the picture and then right click and then do a paste. Okay, now you have a second unicorn. What you want to do then is click on format. You want to click on glow and you want to say no glow. Okay, you want to get rid of that glow you just added. Next thing you want to do is you want to click on crop. And we're going to, again, go over till we see that T and we just want to crop our tail. Okay, now we can move that tail right in front and layer that right on top. Okay. Finally, the last thing we want to do is we want to insert a text box. We want to draw a text box, and this is where we're going to draw our Audrey. Okay. And we can go ahead and highlight this. We can go to Home. And the font that I used for this is Curly MT. Again, if you do not have that font, go ahead and do a search and download that, and you can watch my video if you don't know how to do that. And we want to make this 18-point font, and we may want to make that font white. Okay. Obviously we can't see this because the text box is white. So what we want to do is click on Format, do a Shape Fill for that text box, and do a No Fill, and do a Shape Outline for that text box, and do a No Outline. Next thing we want to do is we want to insert a symbol. Um, the symbol that I pulled that from was Wingdings, so it's just Wingdings right here, and you can go ahead and just double click or click on Insert for that star. And we have two, let's go ahead and delete one. And then let's go to the front of the Audrey and we can go insert symbol. And since that was the last one used, it should be right here on top. So just double click. And then finally we can move this by clicking up here on this little round arrow. And we can actually make this a little bit bigger, maybe a 20 point font, okay? All right, so once you um, have this basic image done, again, you want to ensure that that is centered in the middle of your paper, and you want to move it not quite 50% um, of the way down, but probably 40% um, of the way down the page. So it's still a little bit up on top, because again, the paper bag is going to run the entire length, and so you want that in the middle of your paper bag. Next thing you're going to do is actually put your paper bag in your printer, with the fold part sort of facing up and back, okay? Um, I believe all printers print pretty much the same, so this should work for 90, 95% of the printers. There may be one or two um, odd printers out there that I, I don't know of where this, this um, folding paper wouldn't work. Um, but once you do that and run that through the printer, you'll have this really sort of nice um, printout. And again, if we zoom, you can see that um, it prints out quite nicely and quite clear um, where you can see the uh, image that you have um, on Microsoft Word. Anyhow, I hope you found that um, useful. This is a pretty short video, but I've been asked um, more than once to do a video on printing on a paper bag. So I did want to just show you really quickly how you could do that. And again, you can do any image that you want. Also keep in mind, if you have a white paper bag, you can make this in color. Um, that being said, I only had brown paper bags on hand, so I did um, print this on a brown paper bag, so I did make it black and white. Um, the other last uh, point I wanted to make is any white lettering um, printers don't have white typically, so um, any white lettering will, will just not print anything. That's why you kind of see that, that brown coming out from behind and it's not that bright white. It's because printers typically don't have white. Uh, so I hope that helped. Again, please like this video if you liked it. Um, please subscribe to my channel. Um, and I do monitor the chat lines. This uh, recommendation came from a chat line, so please um, feel free to write any questions or comments. Thanks so much.